Hi everyone, I'm Austin with Laguna Tools, and in today's video, we're gonna show you how to run a file on the Laguna KX24 CNC. To make this a little bit easier, we're gonna break it down into five simple steps that you can take every single time, no matter what project you may be running. If you've got a large format machine or a small format, these are gonna to apply to just about any machine out there. So first, make sure you've got your material secured. Second, set your XY0. Third, set your Z0. Fourth, set your spindle RPM. And fifth, load and run your file. Now today we're gonna to be using the lower left-hand corner of our workpiece for our job. And we're also gonna be setting our Z0 manually since we're gonna be using delicate tools. So with that said, let's get started. Just remember, if this is the first time your machine's being turned on for the day, always complete the home procedure, as this is simply a calibration process for the machine. Once this has been completed, our first step is to make sure our material is locked in place. We'll be using a V-bit to help us on the next step, setting our XY0. Using the jog functions on the controller, we'll jog to the lower left hand corner in a continuous motion. Once we get close, we'll switch from continuous to step mode. Step mode will allow us to change the step distance so that with each press of the button, we are moving the desired amount. Now with our step distance set, with each tap of the button, we'll be moving the desired amount and we can safely jog to the lower left hand corner. Once we've reached the desired location, we'll highlight X and Y on our controller and press set zero. X and Y will now be zeroed out. Next step is to set our Z zero. Now again, we've chosen to go with the manual method here. So we're first gonna lock the lower left hand corner of our piece down. And then using step distance again, we'll jog the bit down to the surface of the material. A quick tech tip here. If you're using a V bit, you can use a flashlight to set your Z zero. Once the tip of the bit and the shadow meet, simply set your Z. With Z highlighted, you can now press set zero. And our Z has now been set manually. The next step is to set our spindle RPM. That will be the S value under override. You can also check and make sure your feed rate is set at 100%. This will allow you to take the feed rate from the G code. Set the spindle speed to 24,000 for this tool. And now our spindle speed has been set. The last step, is to load our file and then run. With your USB inserted, press open file. You'll now see a list of all the files in your internal memory. At the bottom, press USB. Once it loads, the controller will now give you a side-by-side -side of all the files on the internal memory and the USB stick. We can now select the files from the USB that we'd like to transfer to our internal memory. Simply highlight them, and then press the transfer button at the bottom. If you give it a second, you'll see all those files have now moved to our internal memory. From here, we can press the home button to return to the main screen. From the main screen, you can now press load file. We'll get a list of our internal memory. Highlight the file you'd like to run. We'll now see the associated G code next to it, and we can press OK. If you give it a second, you'll now get a visual rendering of that file at the top of the controller. Before you run your file, if you want to verify that your origin is set in the right spot, you can highlight X and Y and press 0. This will return the X and Y back to its last set origin position. Confirm that our feed rate and our spindle speed has been set. And when we're ready, we can press cycle start. This will begin the file. If at any time we need to stop the job, we can simply press the reset button. Now that we're ready, we can press cycle start. We hope these five steps help you on your CNC journey. Just remember, securing your material, set your XY0, set your Z0, set spindle RPM, load and run our file. Thank you so much for watching that video. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to check out some of the other videos on our YouTube channel. 
or visit us online at lagunatools.com. And thank you for choosing Laguna Tools.